and Nobel Prize winning nootropic formula, these were literally designed to replace Adderall or Vyvanse or Dexedrine at a low dose. And I feel that a low dose of Vyvanse, Dexedrine or Adderall are more intrusive than an effective dose of a single serving of Respawn or these energy drinks. I haven't touched Adderall, Vyvanse or Dexedrine ever since I've got them in hands on these over-the-counter supplements. Vigorous Steve here. So I heard through the grapevine, a little birdie told me, a little bird with Death Star Delts, I was told that there's going to be a new flavor for Gorilla Mind energy drinks dropping today. Actually, right now, as soon as this video is going live. So if you like Tiger's Blood, the original flavor for Gorilla Mode or Gorilla Mode Nitric, if you like that flavor, click the link down below because I think these are going to sell out just as fast as all of the other previous flavors, which are now unfortunately not available. They might be restocked in the future, but for now, only Tiger's Blood is going to be available. In this video, I want to review a couple of the flavors of Gorilla Mind Energy Drinks, as well as Respawn and start comparing them head on head. And the other new flavor, which is dropping right now, is Lychee Bomb. Not exactly sure what that tastes like. From what I've been told, it's one of their best flavors yet. With Tiger's Blood, we can all imagine, right? We've all sampled the pre-workout mode in Nitrix. So the Tiger Blood pre-workouts in the energy drinks are going to taste pretty similar. But with Lychee Bomb, unwatered territory. Some people prefer it more than Black Cherry Vanilla, which is my favorite flavor. So if you're unsure which flavor to get, just get both. When in doubt, get both. So in this video, I want to review Respawn versus all of the previous flavors, including Tiger's Blood, which is dropping today. Again, click the link down below if you want to reserve, because if you watch this video for a couple minutes, it might have already sold out. And don't forget to use code VIGOROUS so you can get 10% off of your purchase. In this video, we're going to review and compare Respawn versus Arctic White versus Black Cherry Vanilla. Hands down, my favorite flavor. This beats all of the other flavors, but I haven't tried some of the new flavors yet, so bear with me. Orange Crush as well as Exotic Kiwi. These four we're going to compare to Respawn. There's also another flavor, strawberry candy out there, which is also sold out, unfortunately. But because my shipping forwarder is mad slow, it takes me four to six weeks before these new batches actually arrive. So I'll get Tiger's Blood in my hands, let's say four to six weeks from now. And by the time I'm sure it's already sold out. So again, click the link down below if you want to reserve a case for yourself. But before we get into it, please like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to vote for upcoming deep dives or join the weekly vigorous Q&A, which is always on Saturday, you can join either the Patreon memberships or the YouTube memberships and then support the channel that way so we can reinvest into more editors and get more videos out for you guys. So let's go over the nutritional data of the Respawn and the energy drinks first, which are actually very, very simple. One scoop of Respawn contains less than one gram of total carbohydrates and two scoops, if you're that crazy, which I don't think is entirely necessary, that contains one gram of total carbohydrates. And if you look at the energy drinks, most of them contain about one gram of total carbohydrates, but Arctic White actually contains seven grams of erythritol. Now, there's some conflicting evidence on how deleterious erythritol is for your cardiovascular system. There was a very long study that was started in 2001 and ended in 2022, that shows that there might be a positive correlation between erythritol and cardiovascular events if and only if daily intake exceeds 30 grams per day. So this can contains the Arctic white flavor, contains seven grams of erythritol. But if you go ahead and review this paper by yourself and you're only half smart or anything above, like myself, many doctors, other knowledgeable scientists out there, you can poke a ton of holes into this reviewer paper and realize that, you know, there's a lot of cofactors and a lot of things that they didn't really investigate when it comes to erythritol potentially contributing to cardiovascular events. Still, I will say that sugar alcohols, just like glycerol, xylitol, sorbitol, mannitol, when ingested, guys, when ingested, not up the nose, when ingested, and even uh, sucralose or aspartame can cause some gastrointestinal upset and maybe some sort of false insulin release when you're taking this in a, a ketogenic diet state or when you're dieting severely. And again, with most artificial sweeteners or most artificial flavoring systems or most artificial food colorings, don't overdo it because if you dive deep enough into the scientific literature, there might be some deleterious effects. So my personal recommendation would be if you go with Arctic Whites, limit it to one can per day. And if you like a black cherry vanilla or exotic kiwi or orange crush 
or strawberry candy or the tiger's blood which is dropping today or this upcoming flavor which is dropping in about two weeks from now. Feel free to take two cans per day if you need that much of a nootropic aid to get your productivity completely dialed in. Or you can do what I do. You take a scoop of Respawn somewhere in the morning or during your most productive hours of the day. And then later in the day or maybe when you wake up, you take a can of these energy drinks, right? You combine both so you can get the best of both worlds because the ingredients are slightly different. Now, besides the total carbohydrates of, let's say, a gram per serving, you might get 25 milligrams of sodium if you go with the energy drinks. Now, that's not a deleterious amount of sodium. Hydration formulas have more sodium in there. It's not going to spike your blood pressure. If anything, it helps with the flavoring system. So again, a little bit of sodium, no fat, no proteins. So besides um, four calories that you might get or a little bit extra calories from the Arctic White, if you consider this artificial sweetener to contain any sort of calories, so it, that remains to be debated because there is a little bit of an insulin response in certain scenarios. Um, besides that, it's basically a guilt-free drink or a guilt-free nootropic formula. All right, moving over to the micronutrients. I like my micronutrients as much as you love your micronutrients, and these are full with vitamin C and some of the B vitamins, all at efficacious dosages for your overall cognitive benefits. Let's start with vitamin C, 90 milligram per single serving, whether that's the respawn or the energy drinks, unless you go with a double scoop of respawn. But honestly, I don't think you need that much nootropic aid in a single serving. So don't overdo it. That's a lot of caffeine and a lot of work that you need to get done just to let it metabolize. Vitamin C, 90 milligrams per serving. Now, of course, vitamin C is an es essential nutrient, is an antioxidant, which might offer some neuroprotective effects, supports the immune function, it contributes to collagen synthesis, aiding in the absorption of iron. But most notably, the main reason why vitamin C was added to these nootropic formulas is because vitamin C contributes to the synthesis of neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, serotonin. So indirectly, it contributes to the regulation of mood focus and cognitive function, especially when combined with all of the other nootropics, which we're going to discuss a little bit later. Now, exclusive to Respawn, these B vitamins are not found in the energy drinks, probably because these B vitamins are completely unpalatable. I mean, just try to dissolve a B50 or a B100 complex formula sublingually. Or if you do what I do once per week, you do your B vitamins intravenously. I mean, you can literally smell that across the room. So don't blame the energy drinks for not containing theamine, riboflavin, as well as biotin or folate. It's simply because it doesn't work well with the flavor. And if you dissolve this in the form of a scoop of respawn, then it's a little bit more palatable with the other ingredients which are contained within the respawn. So exclusive to respawn, 1.2 milligrams thiamine, vitamin B1, which helps with energy metabolism, nerve function, and carbohydrate metabolism. 1.3 milligrams riboflavin, vitamin B2, involved in energy production, cell growth, maintenance of healthy skin, eyes, and the nervous system, 680 micrograms folate, vitamin B9, essential for DNA synthesis, red blood cell production, and nerve function, 30 micrograms biotin, vitamin B7, supports metabolism, healthy hair, skin, and nails. So why the hell not? So these B vitamins are exclusive to Respawn, and the other B vitamins, including niacin, vitamin B3, are also found in the energy drink. So going forward, these are all included. Niacin vitamin B3 is important for energy production, DNA repair, maintenance of healthy skin, nerves, and the digestive system. 16 milligrams per serving. Vitamin B6, P5, P, peroxidal 5 phosphate. 10 milligrams per serving in the respawn, but only 5 milligrams in the energy drinks. Is that a deal breaker? Not exactly. Probably has to do with the flavoring system or how much P5P you can actually dissolve in solution. Now, vitamin B6, P5P, that's actually the active form of vitamin B6 involved in brain development, synthesis of neurotransmitters, including dopamine, which we're all very familiar with, and the reduction of prolactin downstream, and the regulation of homocysteine levels. Responding the energy drinks also contain methylcobalamin, vitamin B12, which is essential for nerve function, red blood cell formation and production, and DNA synthesis, similarly to vitamin B9. Also contains pantothenic acid, vitamin B5, 5 milligrams per serving, involved in energy production, hormone synthesis, and the maintenance of healthy skin and nerves. So besides all of the nootropic and cognitive benefits that you'll get from these Grail Mind supplements, you might also get healthy skin, hair, nails, and nerves. I mean, look at my skin. Look how healthy it looks. I take a single serving almost every single day. Look at my, well, I don't have so much hair, but maybe you can hear this. 
I mean, my hair is not brittle at all. Let's move over to the nootropics, starting with L-tyrosine, exclusive to Respawn. Contains a single serving 2,500 milligrams L-tyrosine, which is the amino acid precursor for dopamine, norepinephrine, and adrenaline. Important for mental alertness, focus, and mood regulation. So you have the vitamin B6, P5P to help with dopamine production and the L-tyrosine to actually act as a building block for the dopamine that you're going to produce while taking these supplements. Again, guys, be forewarned, don't combine these supplements with Adderall or Modafinil or Caber Golan, which is also acting on the dopamine receptors. Don't overdo it, because that's way too much dopamine for any living human being. If he dies, he dies. Yes, that will apply if you start double or triple dipping with these uh, cognitive aids. So keep it to a single serving, and maybe a little bit later in the day, and don't start combining this with over-the-counter supplements, which are also known to increase your dopamine levels or act dopamine-like to a very high extent. Now, the L-tyrosine is only found in the Respawn, but the energy drinks contain a more bioavailable version called N-acetyl-L-tyrosine at 1,000 milligrams per serving. This is a more bioavailable form of L-tyrosine, so if we were to compare 2,500 milligrams L-tyrosine from the Respawn versus 1,000 milligrams N-acetyl-L-tyrosine from the energy drinks, I would say that the dopaminergic effects and the overall acuteness regarding uh, cognitive function and uh, mental performance, I would say is very, very similar. And the reason why they chose an L-tyrosine over regular L-tyrosine for the energy drinks is because an energy drink can only hold that many milligrams in solution. So you're shaving off 1,500 milligrams per can, plus 2,500 milligrams L-tyrosine would probably alter the flavoring system. For example, I would like to see 300 to 500 milligrams acetyl l carnitine into these formulas, but I know from personal experience, SDL L carnitine is terribly sour. It would ruin all of the flavors, including the one from Respawn. That's why carnitine formulas are always in tablets or in a solution containing a ton of sugar. And that's what we're trying to avoid here. And even though SDL L carnitine is very beneficial, especially on a ketogenic diet, again, if it ruins the flavoring system, then unfortunately you can't include it and you would have to go with the supplemental route on top of these supplements which you can get from Gorilla Mind. Now, there are two nootropic ingredients which are exclusive to Respawn. You won't find them in the energy drinks, and this is one of the main reasons why I prefer Respawn. One of them is 1,000 milligrams of New Level, which is a patented formula of inositol-enhanced bonded arginine silicate, a combination of arginine and inositol designed to enhance exercise performance, improve blood flow, including to the brain, by increasing nitric oxide production and 120 milligrams ginkgo biloba extract, which contains compounds which improves microcirculation, improves memory formation, and supports overall cognitive function. So you have two aids that improve blood flow to the brain, but I'll be 100% transparent and say that medications like Nysergoline or Guanfacine improve blood flow to the brain a lot more by acting on the alpha receptor. So I have various experience with guanfacine and nicer goline and know how they compare to new level and ginkgo extract and i would say that those medications are more potent but again you know these are over-the-counter supplements and you don't have to source this on the gray area websites so if you want a nice alternative the new level and the ginkgo extract highly beneficial if you want to have nicer goline or uh, guanfacine like effects and the following nootropic ingredients are found both in the respawn and the energy drinks all flavors alpha gpc the most bioavailable form of choline, which can cross the blood-brain barrier and supports cognitive function, memory, and focus. Uridine 5-monophosphate, a nucleotide involved in brain health, cognitive function, and is known for its potential benefits on synaptic plasticity and memory. Now, again, I have various experience with uridine monophosphate by itself, and I would say that this is one of the key ingredients of both Respawn and the energy drinks. Uh, before I forget, the Respawn and the energy drinks contain 400 milligrams per serving of alpha GPC and 200 milligrams uridine 5 monophosphate. I've experimented with doses between 300 to 500 milligrams just by themselves. I would usually take that before recording these kinds of videos, but now I've solely shifted to using Respawn before I record because, again, there's so many nootropics in there that a little lower dose of uridine monophosphate um, doesn't detract because all of these other nootropic ingredients are contained within the formula. Caffeine anhydrous respawn only contains 150 milligrams, but the energy drinks contain a whopping 200 milligrams, 33% more 
Then respawn. Does it now beat respawn? I don't think so. 150 milligrams caffeine and hydrates is more than enough for me. I take a hefty dose in the morning of actual real homebrew coffee. Is it homebrew? Yeah, that's homebrew, right? Yeah, I'm not going to Starbucks to get my coffee. I homebrew my coffee fresh with a coffee filter. And that has a lot of caffeine to get the day started. So um, an additional dose of 150 milligrams, more than enough for me. And you see with L-theanine, which is known for its calming effect, relaxation and promotes focus and attention, might also induce sedation to an extent that it can help you fall asleep. But I never really noticed that. The Respawn contains 75 milligrams, but the energy drinks contain 33% more, 100 milligrams per serving. So you get more caffeine and more L-theanine to take the edge off with the energy drinks. And these also contain saffron extract, 50 milligrams across the board. Saffron extract is known for its mood enhancing properties, anxiolytic effects, supports emotional well-being and alleviates mild depressive symptoms. Personally, I notice mostly that I get a slight euphoric effect, especially when combined with L-theanine and a little bit of caffeine and some of the other ingredients. And this basically, this entire stack whether that's the Respawn or the Energy Drinks, were designed by Derek. Again, a Nobel Prize winning nootropic formula. These were literally designed to replace Adderall or Vyvanse or Dexedrine at a low dose. And I feel that a low dose of Vyvanse, Dexedrine or Adderall are more intrusive than an effective dose of a single serving of Respawn or these Energy Drinks. I haven't touched Adderall, Vyvanse or Dexedrine ever since I've got them in hands on these over-the-counter supplements. I found that they're just as beneficial, albeit shorter lasting. So instead of you know being wired out of your socks for uh, 12 hours, for example, this will get the job done in four to six hours and the productivity is certainly increased, but it allows you for two servings if you want to during the day without keeping you awake at night, allowing you to fall asleep normally without the use of all of these sleep aids like we're discussing in the deep sleep deep dive video series. Okay, the last ingredient that respawn and energy drink contains is 200 micrograms uberzine A, which works by inhibiting the breakdown of acetyl choline or alpha GPC. So basically all of the best nootropic ingredients you can find over the counter are found in these supplements besides maybe acetyl L-carnitine, which I would like to see included, but I completely understand if it messes with the flavoring system. It's easy to supplement this on top, which I occasionally do depending on the state of ketosis that I'm in. My favorite is 100% Gorilla Mind Respawn, this one wins hands down, but once in a while I feel like tasting something super tasty, and then I go with the black cherry vanilla, which really tastes like mixing the last scoop of Respawn. Instead of mixing that with water, you go with Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper and mixing that with vanilla Coke Zero. You mix it all together in the Respawn bottle with the last half a scoop that you have left, and then you know exactly what this flavor tastes like. Hopefully, at one point, Derek, I hope you're watching, bring this back. <laughs> this hands down one of the best flavors you've produced across the boards, including Gorilla Mode Nitric, which I believe my favorite is Crush or Vanilla Burst. And if you can bring those flavors to the energy drinks, man, I'll buy cases upon cases and make you go out of stock. So which one of these should you get and try for yourself? Well, if you live in the United States, I would just try all of them, or at least the ones that are currently in stock. So maybe a tub of Respawn and a case of Tiger's Blood or the Lychee Bomb energy drink flavors. And then you just get more of the product that you like the most. Whether that's taste-based or effect-based, get more of the one that you prefer. But if you live outside of the United States and you have to deal with pesky shipping fees and importation taxes, just stick with Respawn. I had to pay a lot of shipping fees on these energy drinks every time there's a new flavor and Derek ships me a case. So I found that it's very cost ineffective to spend that much money on a couple energy drinks. Again, if you live outside of the United States, and even if you use a shipping forwarder that can bypass some of the importation fees, respawn for the amount of servings that you get out of it, a lot more cost effective when you live outside of the US. But otherwise, if I were in the US myself, I would just get every flavor and stock them up side by side because every day is a new day and you want to taste something different or maybe have a little bit of a different effect. I'll leave it up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find everything that I'm associated with down below in the YouTube description section. I'll put direct links for Respawn and the energy drinks down below as well, as well as in the comment section so you don't have to scroll too far. Don't wait too long. The Tiger's Blood will probably go out of stock in a day or two. 
and then it might not be available for a very, very long time until the next flavor drops, which should be about two weeks later. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Vigor Steve, Vigor Screw. You guys know what to do. A front double bicep for you guys, full with respawn. Again, I get the job done 24 7 running respawn here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, I'm going to sample some more of these. Now, kiss.